Welcome to Sweet 303. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan, and we are very excited today because we have on associate producer from CBC, Kathy Brown. Now, Kathy wears many hats. She's also a journalist, but we're going to be talking about the CAPE program regarding CBC. She's going to be coming on and tell us all about the opportunities CBC is offering. Let's talk a little bit CBC. It's been our it's been in our lives forever. It's a wonderful Canadian platform, obviously. The bread and butter for me is Hockey Night in Canada. But it's just a staple for our community, for our neighborhood. They reach out, they help us, they support us. It's like uh, apple pie for America to Canada. So we're very excited. I love working with CBC. Actually, one of our graduates, Casey McKay, did some work for CBC. So we're going to try to bridge the gap a little bit more with CBC, help the most vulnerable community in the world, which is the disability community, along with veterans. We're big on supporting veterans. But we're going to uh, see what Kathy has to say all about her platform, all about her successful career. So stay tuned. You're watching Sweet 303. I'm Jay Stoyne. We'll be right back with our guest, Kathy Brown from CBC. Welcome back to the show. I'm Jay Stoy, and you're watching Sweet 303. And on the show today, we have associate producer, Kathy Brown. Kathy, thanks for joining us today. Hello. Nice to be here. Now, I understand you're you're piping in all the way from BC. So how's the weather out there today? The sun is actually out. That's great. That's which nice means that everybody's going to run out the door and be outside because you know what? We haven't had too many of these sunny days lately. Well, I love British Columbia. It's such a beautiful setting, surrounding region area. The people are great. So again, we have on the show today, we have associate producer, Kathy Brown. Kathy's going to tell us all about what's going on at CBC um, and her career. So Kathy, why don't we get started? Uh, tell us the different hats you wear. Like I know you wear many. <laughs> I do. I do. Well, you know, I've spent probably 30 plus years of my life in uh, communications and public relations. Uh, but I always harbored uh, a real desire to work for CBC. I am a longtime CBC fan, really mostly on the radio side. Radio, I think, is, is CBC radio has been that staple for Canadians for, for decades. And I'm a real big radio fan. And I always wanted to work for CBC. So, um, at the age of 65, I applied wow. to uh, join uh, a paid work experience at CBC called CAPE, which is the CBC Bill Crew Placement for Excellence. And uh, it was in uh, 2019, three years ago, almost a 12-week work experience, a paid work experience. And I uh, applied thinking, oh, you know, my chances weren't that great because, you know, I'm older. But you know what? I got an interview. I got selected. I was one of 10 people uh, that year from across Canada to uh, be part of the program. I worked uh, for CBC Vancouver as a researcher yeah, for one of uh, the radio programs, the morning show called Early Edition, and uh, kind of eased very quickly into an associate producer role. And at the end of the 12 weeks, um, I never really left. And I, um, it's almost three years later, I still uh, produce, uh, help produce on radio shows. I also uh, am uh, co-chair of our uh, Bill Crew uh, Employee Resource Group within CBC, and uh, I also uh, help contribute uh, my life experience and, and kind of gut reactions to uh, helping make our content more accessible. 
and uh, I also kept my hand in Cape and uh, this year will be uh, an official mentor and contributor to the programming uh, and this year for the first time it will be a six month program for which I am very, very excited. Yeah, why don't we why don't we focus on Cape and uh, how we further help promote it, uh, provide opportunities to our community, and, and just talk more about it, provide people with more information. So please tell us about the organization and how, and how people can get involved. Yep. Uh, well, CAPE is, as I said, a, a paid work experience within CBC. Uh, it is open to people with disabilities uh, across the country. Uh, it varies from year to year. This year, the program will run from September to February, and uh, the jobs available uh, are primarily located in Toronto, although we do have an opening in Winnipeg and in Vancouver. And uh, they range anywhere from communications positions, uh, transcription, social media, um, you know, camera operations within within the uh, the newsroom floor. Uh, uh, are you uh, are these ca candidates? Let's just say, call them candidates. Mm -hmm. or, you know, mm -hmm. um, do they need any type of prerequisite skill, or can they come in just really green? Well, it, you know, I, I think it always helps to have some background in in uh, the area that you're applying for. Uh, yeah, but, obviously, obviously. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of hands-on training and, um, you know, a lot of training as you go. And and now that we've got a, it six months, I mean, there's a lot more opportunity for growth and for development in, in the area that, that you're working in. And how many uh, how many positions is there like available? Do you know often? this year? This this year there will be eight. Eight positions. Yeah. And is that is that like a the top eight cream of the crop sort of graduate and get the jobs, or that's there's only eight positions to apply for? There are eight positions to apply for, but but uh, you know you can apply for multiple positions, and and then you know we'll we'll be you know conducting interviews and and whittle it down to the candidates to the for each job yes yeah but as yeah. many people as they want like you can oh, take absolutely. as many people in right just oh there's only eight jobs available there are eight that. jobs available okay. and and there'll be eight candidates who will be you know who will uh get that position but uh the you know the other good thing about this is that you know we also want to encourage people to apply generally to CBC if they think there's a job that appeals. And, and CAPE is, is, you know, kind of a vehicle to remind people that, uh, you know, uh, accessibility and inclusion is, is uh, one of the pillars that CBC is, is uh, really building and growing on. And can uh, you uh, can you tell our viewers again what CAPE stands for? Yeah, it's CBC Abila Crew, which is which is the um, employee resource group placements for excellence. Excellent. And I'm just asking questions because as soon as uh -huh. we finish, I'm going to be shooting this out to my to my neighborhood, my my community. So well, I mean that's and, how that's how it happened to me. I yeah. happened just quite accidentally to see this on Facebook. And, uh, and how long and again is, how long again is it for six months? It will September? be six months. It will be six months this year from September to February. This is the first time uh, they're offering a six month program. And is it uh, Monday to Friday? Yeah, it's a job. It's a job. It's a, like it's, it's nine to five. It's, but it's I mean a, that like, yeah. So in it's order an to actual paid, it's an actual paid job. Well, right from training day one, it's nine yep. to five, Monday to Friday. Okay. Yep. okay, that's good. Okay, and it's in person or online? Well, right now, uh, given our, <laughs> given the current circumstances, um, I expect it will be a bit of a hybrid still. Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, for example, the last two Cape programs that I've been involved in have have pretty well been virtual the whole time. So and, let me ask you. And it's worked ask, out well. 
So let me ask you this, because I know yeah. they're going to ask me this right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the starting pay? I know they're going to ask me this. My, my, my community is going to ask me this. It's well, it'll vary from position to position, but it'll okay. be, okay. it'll be, you know, it'll be what the job is, is, uh, so, is paid. So anywhere from $17 and up basically. I would say, I would say that would be the minimum. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can I know? I'm just asking you this. Yeah. Can I know my. No, because everything will, every job is different, but, but the jobs will be based on the, on the, you know, the salary that the going salary that that job is, is, is built. Exactly. And, and I only ask you that because my community, they go, they don't do gray. They're black and white. They want to know. I want to know. Like, tell me. I want to know. Like, what's the yep. pay? What, it will what's depend the on. It will yeah. depend on the job. And Perfect. you know, one of the things that that we recognize and and that we you know really strive for is the fact that you know accommodation is a real key ingredient of this program, and we do uh, go out of our way to accommodate people. Sometimes it has to do with having hours a little more flexible. Sometimes it has to do with maybe a slightly later starting time or, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. But, but we, uh, you know, the question that we always want to know is, you know, what, what would make you most successful in this job? You know, what accommodation would you, would you need to do your best work? Well, I think that is that is wonderful, and we will be posting information if you want to share it with us. Mm -hmm. Besides besides this interview, I think mm -hmm. it's great. Like CBC is just a wonderful uh, platform. Why don't we take a quick break? Sure. And when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about your career, right? And a little sure. bit about what's going on uh, with CBC today. Because you know, I'm sure people want to hear more. You got hockey games going on. You got soccer coming up. There's a lot of great things. So. Stay tuned. On the show today, we have associate producer from CBC, Kathy Brown. You're watching Sweet 303. We'll be right back. Are you currently on ODSP? If you're interested in social media marketing, TV production, podcasting, or getting off assistance, please contact Jay Stoyan at 647-339-68. Four seven or J at the disability channel dot ca the disability channel showcasing abilities. Welcome back to the show. On the show today, we have associate producer Kathy Brown. Now, Kathy, can I ask you this? I always like to ask our guests your connection to the ability community. Some people like to share, some people don't, and I respect both. But I always ask, like, what is your what is your connection to our community? Well, I've uh, I've been uh, you know, partially sighted all my life. I've got I've got about ten percent vision, and uh, I was uh, sixty eight years ago. I was two and a half pounds. There you go. And uh, the, you know, the eyes were destroyed in the incubator because uh, at that point in time, they didn't, you know, the, it was uh, not necessarily well known on how to regulate oxygen for uh, babies yeah. that small. So I've always, I've always, you know, had what I had and uh, uh, pretty well, you know, managed uh to you know do what i do but uh that's that was that's my physical connection uh i have for decades uh been fairly active in advocacy uh public speaking i've uh, i've actually co-hosted a community radio show uh on disability uh so it's it's been part and parcel of a lot of what i do uh, and, you know, the, and especially having been, uh, you know, a disabled woman in the workforce as far back as the 1970s, yeah, which, uh, which, quite uh, the quite, quite the change, the change. Yeah. quite the well, thank change. You. Thank There's you a lot that still that. has to be done, but, uh, you know, I, I do see, I do see progress, uh, as opposed to when I first started. 
Well, I, I really, I really appreciate you sharing that because I know sometimes, you know, it's, you know, it's very sensitive and sometimes people don't like to mm -hmm. share just for, for whatever reason. I respect that. So I, I thank you for sharing. Let's get back to CBC. So mm -hmm. if people are watching now, so you can obviously turn on the channel, right? Watch CBC. Mm -hmm. You can go to the radio dial, right? Mm -hmm. and you can listen to it. And, and there's also podcasting too, I believe, right? You guys have podcasting, which is kind of like the radio, same kind of. Well, we operate on yeah. multiple platforms and what, and what we're, what we're doing a lot of now is, you know, developing a story for multiple platforms. So it may start as a radio interview, but then it could be a web story on, mm. you know, on cbc.ca. Then it might also end up being a TV interview then it could, you know, develop into, uh, you know, some social media posts about the story. So, you know, we, we want to expand our reach in terms of, you know, ref not only reflecting Canada, but also reaching Canada. So, that, so you know, we're, we're doing a lot of multi-platform stuff. In today including today. So yeah. I think that is, I think that is a, a great vision. If the disability channel, I mean, obviously we've already worked together in the past through Casey and all that. So if we can be in any, any assistance when it comes to the accessibility and the ability world, whether that's on television or on the radio or podcasting, the disability channel would love to support you guys. I mean, you know, or you guys are part of the makeup. Um, and I'm sure Casey's going to be coming back eventually after Easter seals. So yeah. And Casey um, and I graduated from the same CAPE program. There you go. So if people want to find out more information to CAPE, because mm -hmm. after the interview, we're going to spread it out. Obviously, it's on your website, but um, mm -hmm. where else could they go? Like, I'd love to put stuff on our website for you guys and stuff okay. like that, too. Very easy. It's cbc.ca slash CAPE, C-A-P-E. And uh, you'll find everything you need there. Um, and, you know, I am also very happy to answer any questions people may have. So you can reach me. Well, you might get about 20 to 40 TDC oh, that's fine. media graduates because that's what we do. We have a slew of graduates looking for that next opportunity. Yeah, you can you can reach me at Kathy, C-A-T-H-Y dot Brown, B-R-O-W-N-E. And you're on Twitter. And yeah. cbc.ca. Yeah. And I am on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I have been on social media for almost 15 years. So I, I have, uh, I've got a sizable platform. So uh, I spread the word about CAPE on, on both Twitter and Facebook as well. And, well, you know, happy to answer questions, happy to talk about CAPE anytime, because I will tell you, that I know from personal experience and from the experience of other graduates that this is a life-changing opportunity. It is transformative and it is, it is something that, you know, if you've thought, God, I've always wanted to do something like this, do it. Because, That's great. you yeah. know, even if, even if you don't make the cut this time, uh, your resume is already in the CBC, you know, bin. So, I mean, you're already one step ahead of, of, of not having applied at all. So let me ask you a couple of questions sure. and then we're going to, and then we're just getting uh, uh, short on time here, but I want to ask you three questions. So what sure. do you think, if you had a, you had a crystal ball, mm -hmm. what does the CBC, what's the CBC's number one need? Besides viewership, don't say viewership. Besides viewership, what can I? They may not need viewership. I'm just saying, what would, what do they need to sort of upgrade their platform in today's world? I think, I think we we always, and I think that applies to any sort of media uh, outlet. But I think we always have to be very conscious of who our audience is, how they're changing. How they're re how they're receiving news, how they're what they even are interested in. I think we have to be nimble. I think we have to be uh, very very responsive, and I think we have to be very attuned to the people that we you know that we serve. 
And leave it with one point. If you had to give one little piece of advice to somebody breaking into the media business, what would you say to them? Do your homework. You, uh, you know, if you're interested in, in something like the CBC, do some homework, do some research, find out, find out what's going on, really understand the organization, even if you're not encyclopedic about it, understand what you want to get into and where you think you might make the best fit. That's great, Kathy. Great advice. I really thank you for being on the show today. You have an open invitation. If you if you guys at CBC need any other, I guess, outreach regarding accessibility or employment, ability, disability, please consider us your friend. And please do, uh, you can come on a platform anytime. I think what you guys are doing. Again, it's CAPE. So give us the website one more time before I let yep. you go. Yep. www.cbc.ca slash CAPE. A-P-E. That's great, Kathy. Well, thank you again for being on the show today. Uh, thank Karen for me too. All the best. And uh, we will be talking soon. I'm just going to take a quick break and wrap the show. So thanks again, Kathy. Thank you. Would you like to donate to our employment programs? Please follow the link below to donate through PayPal. All proceeds go to our program. Welcome back to Sweet 303. I'm Jay Stoy, and what a great interview. We had an associate producer from CBC, Kathy Brown. We talked all about the CAPE program that CBC is running, focus on uh, opportunities for persons with disabilities, or perhaps anybody, including veterans. We're big on veterans. So again, I want to thank CBC. They're wonderful associate friends. They hire our grads. So check out their program, CAPE. Again, you can go to their website, CBC, obviously. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, tuning in, commenting, supporting us. Remember, you can enroll in our programs. We have one starting now in June, Accessible Media, but we have about three or four programs running all the time, focused on transitioning from your previous life to the workforce in your new life, new opportunities in the media. We're also going to be branching out into housing, financing, healthcare. Uh, we're going to be having a fundraiser coming up in July down in Illinois, Hope Stock. We have one coming up here in probably October for the veterans, right? Check us out. Our office is Artscape, downtown Toronto, Witchwood Barn. Wonderful accessibility facility. Super for the community. Really community friendly. So again, you're watching our high, pro, our high profile show, Sweet 303. I'm Jay Stoyne. We'll see you next time. Do check out our website. Do subscribe. Do subscribe to our Patreon, our new show called The Zen Show. Until then, we'll see you next time.